Hey, God, first, I want to encourage you with something that the Lord encouraged me with last night. My wife and I are new parents as of six weeks ago, and last night our son was just inconsolable. He was crying and crying and nothing that we did worked. So after we had tried everything we could, we prayed. And as I sat on the floor waiting to see how the Lord would answer, this first part of the verse came to my mind. They who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Maybe you, like me, are in need of some strength. Maybe you, like me, are growing weary. And I know that for me as an introvert, I'm, even I am over this lockdown. And maybe this pandemic has been especially difficult for you and for your family and for those that you love. Maybe it brings out many concerns and many worries and many challenges. And so to you, I wanna encourage you that they who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. That's good news for us in the middle of a pandemic. And that was true for Israel in their exile and it's true for us today. So how do we wait on the Lord? Let me offer us two suggestions. The first is remind yourself who the Lord is. Just a few verses before the verse that I've been quoting, the Lord asked Israel the question, why have you been saying that I have forsaken you? And then he says this in verse 28, have you not known, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and to him who has no might, he increases strength. No matter how big your problem is, your God is bigger. And when you remember just how much stronger the Lord is than your situation, that's when you will find yourself renewed with strength. They who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. The second thing is cast your worries onto the Lord. It's actually okay to be worried in this pandemic, but don't stop at worry. Go a step further and cast your worries onto the Lord. When we continue to worry, it's proof that we're thinking that we have to solve our own problems with our own strength. And if that's the case, then of course we should worry. But that's not the case. They who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. So cast your cares onto the Lord. And why? Because he cares for you. If you are growing weary, if you are continuing to worry, Receive this word of comfort from the Lord for you. Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. For every trial that you will face, the Lord will give more grace. Wait.